Hello civil engineers, I welcome you all once again to this webinar series on civil engineering excellence. Friends, today we talk about an interesting topic that we talk about the foreclosure of contract or determination of conflict. Now, the foreclosure or determination, there are many terms. If you see the contract act, the contract provisions, rescission of contract, termination of contract, foreclosure of contract. So, these are all having some different different and legal meanings are there. I will not go into the legal part. So, foreclosure of a contract or determination of contract means closing of a contract. Now, when do we need to close a contract? See, if you see the conditions, there are 1 to 12 conditions given in the CPWD for various reasons. Now, what are the those reasons? We will just look few reasons. Like that, some rectification suppose is pointed out by the engineer in charge and contractor is not obeying his instructions and he is not rectifying the work. Then he is entitled to take action under this clause. Then suppose contractor suspend the work without giving any reason or without giving any proper notice, then a client is entitled to take action under this clause, foreclosure of the court. Then suppose uh, do not follow the client representative instruction, then client can take the action. Suppose agency has taken the contract by giving some misleading information and he has grabbed the contract though he was not eligible and if these facts are known to the client after award of the contract, then client is entitled to take action under uh, these clauses. Then one another uh, clause is there, I think class 21 of contract, subletting of contract. Suppose the contractor sublates the work, part of the work or total work to another agency without the knowledge of the client and contract and client came to come to know a later date, then client is uh, uh, eligible for taking action under this clause. Ab, suppose you have taken these actions and action, so what is the implication? Kya hota? Contract will close. Whatever the EMD contractor has given और सिक्योरिटी डिपॉजिट जो उसका उस समय तक आपने बिल के थ्रू जो रिकवर किया होगा वो एंड परफॉर्मेंस सिक्योरिटी बॉन्ड जो भी उसने दिया शुरू में परफॉर्मेंस सिक्योरिटी डिपॉजिट दीज आर आर लाइकली टू बी फॉरफिटेड एंड द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट विल बी फॉरक्लोज दीज आर द प्रोविजंस ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बट एक्शन अंडर दिस क्लॉज अगेन एज आई सेड इन द अर्लियर वीडियोस आवर इंटेंशन आवर एम शुड नॉट बी टू इमीडिएटली टेक एक्शन matured action and flow close the contract. See what is the purpose of this? Purpose is what? We have to complete the work. So first client should analyze the reasons, what are the provisions that should be brought to the notice of the agency, what will be the implication. Normally if we see in our uh, working, so class 2, class 3 generally comes complementary to each other. Once you initiate action under class 2, then कुछ ना कुछ रीजंस उसके आएंगे पर देन डिस्प्यूट विल स्टार्ट सी कॉन्ट्रैक्टर इज नॉट गोइंग टू एक्सेप्ट योर एक्शंस इमीडिएटली देन देयर विल बी अ डिस्प्यूट अगेन डिस्प्यूट आएगा देन ही विल क्लेमिंग सम डैमेजेस ही विल गो फॉर आर्बिट्रेशन एंड दोस थिंग्स सो दोस आर द इलिप्टिकल्स व्हेन टाइम कम्स वी विल टॉक अबाउट दोस इशूज दीस आर द बेसिक प्रोविजंस आई हैव जस्ट गिवन अ ब्रीफ आईडिया अबाउट दैट एंड अगेन एक्शन एज आई सेड वेरी मैच्योर डिसीजन ऑफ टेकिंग एनी एक्शन अंडर दिस क्लॉज शुड बी इनिशिएटेड सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द फॉरक्लोजर ऑफ द कॉन्ट्रैक्ट आज के वीडियो में दोस्तों इतना ही नेक्स्ट वीडियो में हम लोग बात करेंगे एक्सटेंशन ऑफ टाइम के बारे में मिलते हैं दोस्तों नेक्स्ट वीडियो में थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग थैंक यू